Hello everyone, favorite night owl here. Before we get started, I just want to illustrate. Nothing in there, magazines removed, as is the bolt as usual. Nothing in here. In fact, I have the floor plate released, showing that these are indeed unloaded. Like, share, and subscribe? Alrighty then, let's get on with it, shall we? Today's talk is the idea of a people's rifle. Rifle meant for the common man. Now, both of these are very good examples of that. I have here a surplus Chinese SKS and my scout rifle. The SKS has been donated ever so kindly by my younger brother for this video. Cool beans, cool beans. Like to thank him. Now, I will do a separate video on this. In fact, the idea of a people's rifle is heavily based on the concept of a scout rifle. Of which, the two primary requirements it has to meet is that it must have the ability to mount optics as well as auxiliary iron sights. However, specifically, an easy attachment point for optics, like a Picatinny rail. Now, obviously, the SKS does not have that feature. It simply has iron sights, easy to adjust iron sights. Something I'm very envious of, considering it ain't particularly easy to adjust the iron sights. Well, it's easy, but it's time consuming. And in the heat of it, on the range, that can be rather irritating. So really, with the auxiliary sights on a scout rifle, let me move the magazine here, such as this, you should sight them in a standard of 200 yards for me, although some people will choose 300. Although I got this, so, however, I recently sighted this into 200 meters rather than yards to make it a little bit easier for me. The exception is it either has auxiliary iron sight, fixed iron sight such as this, which are just which are sighted in and locked in, and a Picatinny easy attachment point for optics or it has an easy to adjust iron sight such as this rather lovely SKS that has seen quite a bit of usage I don't know if you can tell from the video now this does go now those are the requirements also cannot be heavy as part of the main requirements it cannot be heavier than four kilograms or 8.8 .8 pounds Scout rifles are not supposed to be heavier than 3.5 in the idea of a scout rifle. However, that would eliminate, to my knowledge, the SKS, which also, in my opinion, makes a good people's rifle. If the Chinese were willing to open up their market, and I'm sorry about the shaky cam, and send large quantities of these over into the market, I would greatly appreciate it. Because I remember when these you could get these for like $120. By the time I got around... To looking at one myself, they're up to like 600. They're they're worth it though. I'd gladly even pay 800 for a good condition one. Same thing with the Scout rifles. The decent ones sit around 800, and the Gunsight Scout by Ruger, which this is not, sits. Uh, I think it's around 11 or 1200. It's a good choice. Now there are different now action is less concerning other than the fact it must be a repeater of some kind. Those go into the optional requirements. The optional optional but ideal. The only base which is must have a map rapid means of reloading. For the SKS, it's these nice little old stripper clips. 
and for my bolt gun it's a detachable box magazine although you can still find some surplus rifles that use in blocks they're they're effective as well or detachable rotary magazines that goes into the optional requirements another optional ideal but optional requirement is the ability to fit a muzzle device like this muzzle brake this muzzle brake however is permanently affixed to the barrel which I'm fine with it just means one less thing to buy this SKS has a very good feature which is a permanently affixed bayonet also a very good feature to have those are the optional but ideal the completely optional and unnecessary so basically it's you simply want it is modern stocks that easy that like this one are easy to adjust to yourself or you get like the folding stocks or the collapsing stocks you see in a lot of ARs those are all completely optional and unnecessary for a people's rifle now there are other op there are other options you can moder modernize a Mosin Nagat particularly the carbines put it into a mod stock this is not a Mosin Nagat this is put it into a modern stock you can get quality 10 round magazines for it and since I do enjoy 10 round magazines due to the love of my infield which really doesn't meet the qualifications but still a very good rifle if you have nothing else available there are other surplus rifles that would be very ideal for the task as well now if you find yourself with a mark is a poor or a mark three infield I wouldn't mess with the mess with those are all because you know they're cool looking however that's just personal opinion now sorry the uh ooh, nearly lost myself there now if you get a number four lee infield long as long as you have a quality a good a good gunsmith a quality gunsmith to go to they can be given a scout set up and there are conversion kits to a jungle carbine also if you can find a surplus jungle carbine version of the Lee Enfields they are also a good option there are also a number of Mauser carbines that you can get as it meets one of the two primary requirements that are essential to a people's rifle which is when it comes to sighting fixed yet adjustable generally adjustable auxiliary open sights and an easy to mount Picatinny rail such as this Picatinny rail there are other options on the market a the alternative to this is easy to adjust iron sights which a lot of surplus rifles have also optional wise for optics is a modern modern rifle that simply it comes with auxiliary iron sights but you have to get but it doesn't have a, a auxiliary means you know, easy means of mounting an optic such as more traditional rifle with iron sights it has a means to optic you know to get an optic mounted but it's not as easy as a picatinny round that is an option that's a legitimate option if you have nothing else and you can get those for a fairly reasonable price a one way to get, get it is you can buy a hunting rifle on sale and then learn a little bit about gunsmithing or take it to a quality gunsmith to have it modified because a lot of there's a lot of quality hunting rifles that are of reasonable price and you can have them modified with iron sights and have a Picatinny ram. I prefer forward mounted Picatinny rounds, that's not an option. That's, you know, 
Where it's mounted is optional, as long as it has both these features at the same time. Well, that's my concept of... Now, what would be the value of a penis? It's a rifle for the people that facilitates quick handling, reliability, and affordability. However, what is affordable comes down to each individual person and their situation. These are two of my picks for a people's rifle. Surplus Chinese SKS and a scout rifle. There's a number of light hog rifles. A Savage 11 hog rifle would be an option. And there's a number of quote-unquote Alaskan rifles. There is no caliber requirement other than it's, re it's available in your area or you can afford to have a small stock of it. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Alrighty then. Thank you for your time. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you around.